when conducting mine countermeasures, for every hour of mission that we run an autonomous underwater vehicle, we have at least one hour of post-mission analysis. DSC have recognised that this is a weak link in, in the exploitation of autonomous vehicles and so they've developed a software which allows for the post-mission analysis time to be reduced dramatically. DST have taken that software, developed it to a point where it was demonstrated to be operable and then using a licence arrangement passed it on to industry who have then commercialised a product that works that can be used by sailors today. There are underwater mines that are a threat to shipping and these mines can sit on the seabed and we want to have ways of detecting them. The aim of this software development was to develop automatic ways of locating significant objects. We managed to do the implement the first version into production. So in production, that will mean that the, uh, the Navy guys will get uh, a, a version of it for trials and evaluation, especially in the, in the context of their uh, new project C-7078, which is the acquisition of the underwater vehicles. So that'll roll out as, a, as over the next 12 to 18 months. So that will be the chance to then really put this type of capability to the test and we're clearly working with the, the Royal Australian Navy in that context. So keeping uh, sort of abreast of the sort of how it all evolves. It is still an evolving picture. Clearly the defence scientists and the, the DSG as a, as a charter is to spur along improve science and technology within the defence force. Clearly we as defence industry people are in the same game. That is to bring the best products, the best capability to enhance the defence of the realm vis-a-vis -vis product. So for me it's sort of, it's a no-brainer to work together with any and all that are actively working towards that goal and should have more.